and for the bird safety as well. And also, to refrain from standing up or walking around during the show, you might distract the other audience. All you need to do is just sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So, are we all ready for the show? That's not so convincing. Let's try one more time. Everyone, keep your eyes right back there. This impressive eagle is the white tailed sea eagle, and these birds are commonly found throughout coastal regions of Europe. They are one of the top five largest eagles in the world. Now, the main source of diet for these birds consists of fish, but they are also known to go for smaller birds and even mammals as well. Now take a good look at him. You might think he's big, but the females are much larger. The males will span around 1.8 meters, while the females can measure up to 2.4 meters. So you can imagine how big, strong and powerful the girls are. By the way, this is Junior and there he goes all the way back to Swatia. Ladies and gentlemen, our white tailed sea eagle. One of the most commonly used bird of prey falconry would be the hawk. And that too, ladies and gentlemen, a Harris hawk. Well, joining us on stage, we have Hawkeye. Hello, man. Thank you very much. Harris hawks like Hawkeye here can be found in South and Central America. Well, these birds are commonly used in falconry because of their ability to maneuver very well. They are highly intelligent birds, very sociable and easy to train, hence making them a very good choice for falconry. And in a short while, you will get a or even a large rabbit. So, looks like he's bobbing his head and looks like, let's see if there's any prey right back there in the bushes. Do you see anything right back there? No, I don't see anything. There you go. And looks like our hawk is now ready for the hunt. Look at him making his prey. There you go. Very good catch indeed. How about being around for him, everyone? And once the hawk has got some turn. Well, this is Titan, a turkey vulture, and they can be found in the tip of South America. In the tip of Canada all the way to the tip of South America. They are the most numerous vulture species in the world, numbering way over 10 million in the wild. Well, like I mentioned earlier on, they are able to smell meat from miles away. They also act as smoke signals. When these birds descend upon a carcass, other vultures follow suit. But even though they are the first to reach the carcass. They will have to wait for the larger birds to tear open the carcass. Now he has done well. It's time for him to head back home. Thank you very much, Titan, our turkey vulture. Thank you. Silence, light down. Can we do it? Yes? Okay, let's try this out. Here he comes. Wow. Now I'm pretty sure none of you heard it flapping its way, am I correct? Yes? Well that is because owls have very soft edges at the tip of their feathers. So when they flap those wings, there isn't any sound at all. But that's oh, alright. Sorry? Well, not too. Okay. Very young. Ah. Only two years old. That's right. Baby and look like <laughs> to go back home. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Thank you very much for it. Just stay right back there. Now, talking about owls in general, there are more than 200 species of owls that you can find throughout the world. And all of them are able to do one common thing, turning their head all the way to the back. 
No, I have another question. How many degrees do you think an owl can turn its head? Yes? I have 360. I need the first answer. 100. 100. Is that all? 180. Any different answers from 